Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views. Way in the Money Stocks. Today is March 2nd, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that the futures are trading lower by about one point to 2101 and a half per contract. We'll see where this market trades out today, but we do have a very overbought market at the moment. So uh, to see a little bit of a small pullback or something uh, today would not be ruled out of the question. Today is a Monday. Generally on Mondays, we have a little bit on the uh, lighter volume type trading going on. So we'll see how this all plays out. But uh, either way, we have a lot of stocks in the news. And let's take a look at our first one up here. Lumber Liquidators. Ticker symbol is LL. Stock is getting absolutely hammered. Closed at 51.86. Stock is now trading at 38.60. Now, if you take a look at this daily chart, the stock has gone from 70 down to 38 dollars and 50 cents. I happen to think there's a ton of support right here for the stock. Um, traders can, in my opinion, if you have a little bit of risk tolerance, this is where you can give it a shot. So, again, lumber liquidators um, getting hit pretty sharply. Stock is trading around the 38 dollar area right now. It's trading up at 39, getting a little bit of a bounce. But I happen to think there's a lot of support here for this equity. Um, they may flush it at the open one quick time, but either way, there's a lot of support here for this stock at this point in time. So we'll see how this plays out. But Lumber Liquidators is a stock that will be in play today in the intraday stock chat room. Uh, we'll be looking at this one right at the opening bell. Next stock, stock I'm going to take a look at today is Visa. Visa Corp is trading... Uh, was trading a lot higher. Right now it's trading at 275.69, closed at 271.31. It looks like they're going to replace American Express with the Costco deal. So they're going to be the preferred credit card that's used at Costco, and Visa has signed that deal. So you can see the stock traded above the 280 level. I think that's a little bit too extreme at this point in time. But to trade around 277, I think that's uh, probably where it goes. Ultimately, Visa is still a strong stock in an uptrend, so I would not be looking to short it or get in front of it on the short side. Um, if you own it, you just try your stop loss, let it ride higher. I think you're going to hit some resistance, though, around 277. Either way, though, this is a great move for Visa this morning, signing a deal, again, with Costco. Costco getting rid of American Express as its preferred broker, or as its preferred credit card issuer. All right, let's take a look at Aruba Networks today. They're being bought out by Hewlett Packard. This deal was already factored in. If you take a look at the daily chart, this deal was already factored into the card, so somebody knew about it ahead of time. And again, it looks like it is confirmed today. HPQ will be buying Aruba Networks, I think, for $27 a share in cash. So uh, if you own a stock, just try your stop loss. Maybe it gets a little bit of a push higher. Take a look at HPQ. That could be on the weaker side today, although it is not right now. Um, but generally, when the uh, company acquires somebody, they'll go down or the stock will sell off a little bit. Maybe this one's already baked into the cake already, so you won't see much movement there. Another stock that could be in the move in in on the move today is Qualcomm. Qualcomm is right now trading at 72.68. I have Qualcomm penciled in to go up to around 73.80, but it looks like the new Samsung Galaxy S6 phones are uh, were released, and they do not have Qualcomm chips in them. So a lot of people are thinking that Qualcomm will be weak, but I have to think that a lot of this is factored in already as well. Most people know, know when these phones are going to be released. They know um, what's going to happen ahead of time. And uh, everybody kind of knew that Qualcomm would not be in the new Samsung phone. So I don't know if it's going to be much of a big deal. We'll see. Either way, we'll watch Qualcomm today once the opening bell rings. And we'll see if that, uh, if that moves higher or lower. And we'll just play it accordingly. Uh, next one I want to take a look at is uh, NXPI which is a semiconductor company. I believe um, there's a deal going on with Freescale Semi, so that stock is trading sharply higher. Uh, NXP is trading uh, at right now at 97.22. It closed at $84.89 on Friday, so this is definitely benefiting from this deal. If you take a look at Freescale Semi, that's trading at uh, 39.44, closed at 36.11. So both companies are trading higher on the deal. They're gonna merge or something along those lines. So we'll see uh, how that play at, plays out. But it looks like Freescale was being bought by NXP, but NXP is the one that's benefiting from the uh, the move this morning. So again, both companies look like they're, like they're benefiting from the deal. We'll see how it plays out a little bit later. But either way, um, Freescale and NXP 
and XPI are both uh, trading higher on this news. Uh, we'll take a look next at um, <clears throat> Apple. And uh, a lot of people are thinking with the Samsung phone coming out, Apple will, will sell off a little bit. I don't see that right now. Apple's holding up pretty well. Apple does have some support at around $125 if it does get down there today. So keep that level on the radar for Apple if it does tr sell off after the uh, Samsung Galaxy news. Uh, again, that phone was released this weekend, and uh, people got a chance to look at it. They also have a mobile pay, just like uh, Apple has Apple Pay. So again, all these cell phones pretty much do the same thing for the most part. All right, let's take a look at um, gold this morning. Gold futures are trading lower by, excuse me, trading higher by two dollars and ten cents. If you take a look at the GLD, GLD is trading at one sixteen ninety four, closed at one sixteen eighty three. So it's reflecting just a small little uptick in gold futures. Gold futures right now are trading at $1,215 an ounce. Crude oil is trading lower this morning. Crude oil right now is trading down about 69 cents to 49.08 a barrel. Again, crude remains very, very volatile and choppy. No real conviction to the upside or to the downside in crude, if you ask me. Um, but it is just chopping around here down at these lower levels. Right now, the USO is trading at 1805. It closed at 1810. So not a big deal there, but spot crude is down, as I said, uh, right now around uh, 70 cents. So you want to be aware of that. We'll see how that all plays out going forward. Uh, looking at a few other things today here, uh, we'll see where this market goes. Again, market did come under pressure on Friday. Traders should remember that, and we'll see uh, exactly how the market plays out once the opening bell rings. I'm just looking through real quick to see if there's anything else that I'm missing here um, <clears throat> as far as um, some different trades go, but I'm not seeing a whole lot here. I think we've covered pretty much all the movers and the shakers. A little bit on a slower Monday, and uh, we'll see how this all shakes out or plays out, but either way, um, markets could be in for a little bit of a volatile day. Warren Buffett was on CNBC today, and um, let's just take a look at BRK.B. This is Berkshire Hathaway, and you can see the stock is holding up pretty well, basically uh, about just a 50 cents from where it closed, so no, not a big deal there. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave this report short and sweet. I want to wish you all a great trading day. Come on over to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see how we play uh, lumber liquidators this morning as well as every, any other stock. With that being said, everyone, have a great trading day. We'll see you on the charts.